Today we are going to talk about Fibonacci levels and liquidity areas. And at the end, you are going to be able to find which one is better, which one you prefer. I would like to ask you something. Let me know in the comments. I promise I'm going to read all your comments. Do you like trading with Fibonacci? It doesn't matter if you have an Elliott Wave background. Do you like that way of trading? It's something that you find a value. It's something that when you are trading on the live market, give you a good advantage is something that you use. I would like to know it because there, there are many things about a Fibonacci. Fibonacci numbers are like magical numbers that can tell where a cycle is going to be done. But in the real life, I found that that actually is not true. And we are going to check that today. Because when, when we have the, 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 the move up, let's say, uh, an impulse, the price then starts building a corrective. And it could be if you like the Elliott wave approach or if you don't like the Elliott wave approach and you like to just to use a, the trend, whatever is the same thing because you are looking for the retrace. So, of course, if we start adding Fibonacci levels here, uh, at the end, is gonna the price is going to impact one of those levels, right? So, yeah, if the price reverses, we can say, oh, it finished at the 61.8, but that could be the 50 or any level. Sometimes the price is going to continue lower and it's going to create the low. So the question that I have that we, we, we need to think about that deeply is if the price is reversing because that's a Fibonacci level or because the price was going to reverse and it's a coincidence that that it turns around near um, a significant area. Because imagine this scenario. Let, let's suppose that we have the same move and now I'm going to, well, let's let's add here a corrective wave, whatever. I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to draw random lines. Okay, so just let me start here with a reference point this low. So I have an idea if I have to move my mouse up or down. I am I'm, I'm with, I'm my, with my eyes closed. I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Wow. Great. So I have a special gift. As you can see, I was able to find exactly where the corrective wave was done because then the price moved higher. Right? And if I do a webinar saying saying this this type of thing, of course it will be a scam. Um, and and I ch and I show previous examples, whatever. Probably some people will say, "Oh, that's fantastic! I I have to, I I need to buy your indicator." Because you have a special gift. You are really good at that. Right? But something that that probably the, the trader is not seeing is that I'm having a lot of lines everywhere. So, of course, there is a big probability that, first of all, if the price is going to turn around, and, and second, if, if the price, uh, that the price will uh, move near one of those levels, right? <laughs> and sometimes I feel like Fibonacci is something like that. Right. Of course, again, I don't want to be uh, disrespectful uh, because I know that some traders like it, and that's fine. But today, I'm going to show you another way of finding the end of those legs with institutional liquidity zones. You are going to love it. It's going to be something extremely simple. And if you, if, you, if you like to use Fibonacci levels, that's fine. You can continue using them. But you can complement this idea with the technique that I'm going to share with you. So let's start. All right, traders. So for this exercise, we are going to focus on finding the end of this B wave. I'm going to, to, to make this exercise. Don't forget that we provide all these exercises in the live markets every day in Elliott Wave Street. So we have a great membership that we talk about different topics, uh, a lot of them completely exclusive in terms of institutional cycles, in terms of uh, understanding the, the, the waves 
from other perspectives. So you have the membership and you can join us. That will be great. So let's have a look at the five minute chart and let's talk about this B wave. So I'm going to add the Fibonacci levels here. Right. And as you can see, there are many levels that we can see in this chart. Uh, what Fibonacci, and, and before we explain the levels, um, you can see that from this low here, I'm measuring the, the, the Fibonacci from this low to this high. Okay, so that's, that's what Elliott wave suggests. Measure your wave A to have levels for your B wave. And in this case, we have the 38.2%, the 23.6%, the 14%, the 50%, the 61.786, 886 Probably, if you work with Fibonacci levels, you only use the 38.2%, the 50 and the 618 Some traders like the, 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 the 786 Well, whatever. But those are Fibonacci levels. So what the Fibonacci tool is telling is that the market can finish, uh, if it is going to finish, if it's not going to drop to the previous low, can finish on any of these levels, right? And that's the part that I found extremely subjective. But I would love to have your opinion. So in the comments, let me know. I want to know what do you think about these levels. If you have a similar, a, a similar sense of these um, as, as the one that I'm explaining, or if you completely disagree and, and you say, nope, this is, this is the... Um, this is something that I really like to use, and probably you can share in the comments how, if you are using Fibonacci, how you are using it, right? Because I have been trading uh, with these techniques like from 17, almost 18 years ago, I just started, and I have been, um, I have been using these uh, waves and uh, techniques for a long time, and so far, I don't find a lot of value in Fibonacci. So, traders, look, the liquidity zones are going to be here. This is going to be our first one. This is completely objective, and I like to use to, to draw a rectangle, right? not just a, a straight line. You can do it as well, too, that way, too, right? No, no problem. But I'd like to use a zone, you know, because why a zone? Because it's the area where the stops are being placed. People who went long here, or probably before, that's a good level to tight or to have the stop loss, right? If they believe that the market is going to continue higher, that's a good level. Other liquidity zone will be here, right? I'm just marking the... Let me draw this one better. I'm just marking the 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 lows where, where uh, the last retrace happened. And here we have another one. Right? So that's liquidity. And here is another one, right? So... So now we have a more objective approach where the price is likely to move in order to shake out a little bit the stops. When, when the price comes here, we have a rejection. Yeah, but could be a continuation lower. And here, if you want to find and to learn the validation of the, of the end of the wave and how to trigger your trade, because it's absolutely possible here, today I'm planning a special article for my clients that is going to be for, for members only, where we are going to go through this process. Today in the daily video, we went through the plan as well. But but I'm going to highlight this step-by-step -step trading plan. And you have also inside the members area in the membership, the price action course, where we teach how to find the end of the wave. You know That's a different topic. But let's continue with the levels. So here, traders, that's the area where stops are, are, are now, and of course, liquidity is extremely important because where the liquidity areas are where, at the end, the price is going to move, right? So we have a liquidity area there, same to the other side, right? Here we have a liquidity zone that the price is likely to take out, uh, this one as well, and this one as well. So these levels are extremely important. I always tell my clients, hey, look to the left. There is a lot of information on the left side of your chart. So always, always look to the left. And you are going to find a lot of value by checking those key levels. Because these are real levels. These are levels where the stops are at, 
where you can find liquidity, where if the price show you a setup like this one that is beautiful, that's why I'm going to write a whole article about this topic. Uh, you have a fantastic edge to go long with a pretty, pretty small risk. So I prefer using these Fibonacci areas instead of the of the Fibonacci ratios because um, by checking charts and you, you should do the same in your favorite market. If you'd like to trade the stock, go ahead, check those areas and let me know. Let me know in the comments if you find something interesting as well. And with, with this approach, we, we can compare which technique at the end is giving us better value and is giving us a better edge to trade these markets. Right? So, so then the price moves higher after reaching that liquidity zone. Could, sometimes it's that one, so it could be the next one, right? The point is to is is not buying when the price hits the area. You no, know, same same as Fibonacci, of course. That that would be crazy. Is is buying when the price, of course, hits the area, but shows a demand pattern, like in this case, that will give you the confidence that the market is reversing. Because if you buy here or here, you will be losing money, and there we don't have setups. So when the price is moving down, reaching lower lows, lower lows, don't try to fade the trend. Most of the times, I know you have been there trying to find the end of the trend. They say, oh, look at these tails are beautiful. Let's buy it. It's the 38.2% Fibonacci level. And you leave your protective established here and you are out. Right? There is something else, traders. When, when you are trading with these techniques, also, you can use these levels as shelters. So, so let's suppose that you are in a sunny day, you are in, in a Miami Beach, and you are having a good time. You are there at the beach, sunny day, and beautiful day. And eventually, uh, the, the, the storm is coming. A really fast storm starts uh, getting into the area, and you need to find a shelter. So if, let's suppose, this is the beach, sorry for my drawings, and you are here, right? And the waves, yes, the waves are based on the ocean. That's something that Charles Dow found, and the other wave theory is based on, Ch on Charles Dow theory. So the waves are here, and the storm is coming, and you see that big waves are coming in, in your direction. You say, uh oh. So, question what do you think is, is better? Just be there without moving? Or if there is a, a strong wall here designed for these events, let's suppose, to run to this shelter where you are more likely to survive than just waiting for, for the waves to reach you. Of course, you are going to use the shelter. It's not going to be a 100% guarantee that you're going to be safe, right? But something is something. So here comes the waves. Ooh, here they come. So question, where is the shelter? Well, here we have a shelter, this area. And even better, this one here, right? Because you are going to be farther from the risk. So probably you can use this approach here, or you can, you can protect with some points under this shelter here, right? Because anyway, you will be trading here at this rejection and you can learn how to do this in the membership. So of course, you can pick this one. This is a good shelter, or this one if you prefer. You know, it depends on the case. If you're, if this is a five, if this is a five-minute chart, it's fine. You know, but if this is a daily chart, it doesn't have sense to shelter here. So, so that's common sense, right? But usually, the trader trades in a really weird way, like, oh, 
I'm gonna buy this hammer candle because it looks pretty good and I'm gonna leave the protective stops under the low. And you say, what? But come on, you have the shelter here, at least try to protect here. You are doing something crazy because you are fading the trend and you are not seeing any signal of reversal, but at least protect yourself here. At least. Better if you wait for the reversal. Better if you watch the waves and you see, okay, how serious is this situation? And when you see that the waves are just getting here to this part of the beach and they are moving back and that's it, and they are not advancing into this area, you say, okay, this is a good shelter, right? But if you see that these waves are embodying this shelter and the shelter is not working, you have to run to the next one, right? That's like the point, the general point, if you like this analogy with the ocean. But those levels are important because our shelters, because a lot of people are being there trying to protect their trades. You are not alone. Well, here at this area, so anywhere here, that's completely insane because you don't have any protection. And, and if you say, oh, the Fibonacci level is going to protect me, uh-uh, look. Right? So, traders, I believe this is a game changer, you know, like understanding these little, little, little details about price action is something that I found fascinating. So, uh, if you want to learn more about these techniques, you are more than welcome in the Elliott Wave Street membership. Let me show you what we have here. So, on ElliottWaveStreet.com, uh, go to the membership tab, and right here you you will be uh, you 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 will see the the membership. You will find all the details. This is pretty exciting because you're gonna love it, and you will get a live market analysis. You will get education. You will get articles about the markets, about uh, specific things that we are watching during the week, and you are going to learn a lot of applications of Elliott Wave theory on the live markets. So this is your best investment. We are offering a special trial, trial just $19 the first month, so, so you can try the service for, for, for a low rate, and um, you will get immediate access. So sign up now. You will join us and you will get access to the previous videos and to a lot of information in the website. You are going to love it. Traders, thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, to leave your comment, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.